concepts behind these innovation workshops that we launched them is that we really wanted to facilitate a lot of uh, networking and interaction and getting some hands-on experience. And then also the number one request we always get is to hear from other practitioners that are out in the field uh, and the lessons learned that they've had. And so uh, we're thrilled to have a great lineup of speakers uh, for this workshop. Uh, thank you to the folks at uh, Metastorm who is now open text uh, for hosting it. And uh, Michael Lim, uh, who many may, may have met this morning, um, was going to kick things off for us. And um, what we're gonna be talking about in this workshop is a, a basically, and I shouldn't say basically, because it's a big task, but applying BPM to transform your business. And so we've got uh, a little bit of best practices we're gonna share. We also have a, a product demo to expose you to some of the technologies and things that are being used. Um, and then uh, we will have uh, Diana uh, Crone, who's a senior enterprise architect with United Airlines, and Diane LeBeau, principal business architect uh, in the enterprise architecture group with United Airlines, come and share a case study with us. And uh, United, uh, being here in their hometown, we appreciate you uh, coming out and uh, spending the time to share what you've learned with, uh, with the members of uh, BPM Institute. And so I'm gonna switch things over here for Michael, and we're gonna get right underway. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for coming to our session. Um, if you came to my, my, my session in the morning, uh, really talked about how, you know, really to create a BPM initiative, what does that really mean? Um, how does that really happen? And really what, what Metastrom provides is actually a platform that enables you to do that. Build a BPM initiative, tie it to business goals, identify the key processes in your business, all the way down to the actual applications that you're going to be building and developing. One of the things that most companies that implement BPM or BPM technologies is that they focus so much on a project-centric approach of, of looking at an implementation instead of a kind of a corporate-wide strategy. And because of that, there's a lot of assets that they create that they can't reuse. So we're helping using the Metastorm suite of products is to give you the ability to get a full breadth, breadth and depth of uh, understanding your executive strategies all the way down to the actual end user that is completing a task and measuring, monitoring, and finding areas to improve processes. Companies like Boeing, great example, probably United works with Boeing too, but they actually have a huge lean initiative to actually cut down operational costs 10% year for year. And the only way they're able to do that is leveraging tool sets like ProVision, which I'm gonna show you, and looking at their enterprise architecture and find ways to build efficiencies in their organizations. So before I go any further, could I get a raise of hands of people that know what BPM is? Good. So you've just cut 50% of my slides because I was going to talk about BPM, but you already know what that is. That's great. So today's agenda, real quick, of what we're going to go through is I'm going to give you a overview of who uh, Metastorm is, our view of the marketplace today, uh, why we have a portfolio of products. Um, somebody who's questioning what is open text. I'll share a little bit about our new relationship with open text and how that's really helped kind of increase our customer base and more people that are going to begin to leverage uh, the BPM components of our product. I have uh, Theodore, which will be showing uh, the product and how it really works. So I'm really good at showing slides, but he's really good at showing our product. So he'd be a very, very big asset to this session today or this afternoon. And then also we're going to have United share a case story of how they're leveraging uh, the Metastorm suite of products to actually go and do a incredible implementation around merger and acquisition, understanding the, the whole uh, enterprise architecture of, of the company. All right. So a little bit about Metastorm. Uh, how many people have heard of Metastorm? Yes? I would hope that you've heard of Metastorm, but, but if you haven't heard of Metastorm, they're one of the leading providers in the business process management space. They're recognized by all and qualify all the different BPM vendors that are in the marketplace, and they've always come out on top as, as leaders. Um, they, this is the, Metastorm is the only company that actually sells a component which Theora is going to show, which is really our social BPM product. And what we're doing is we're, we're merging things that are happening in Facebook, things that are happening in, a, in the social community, and then figure out how you can leverage those assets towards improving process or finding areas to, to improve process. So we have about 1,400 customers worldwide, and they, this 
you know, used to look like the old dot com slides. We had all these logos all over the place, but we wanted to group them just so that people understood BPM is not just for government. It's not just for, you know, the financial institutions, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, oil and gas. It's actually for depth of breadth of many different types of applications. It's really a platform for you to build process oriented applications depending on whatever industry that you're in. And these are just some of the customers that are out there that work, that uses our products internally, both in an enterprise architecture perspective and actually a BPMS implementation perspective. So uh, in January, we were acquired by a company called OpenText. They are the leading providers of enterprise content management. And the, one of the reasons why they acquired us is because they saw a huge need uh, from talking to their customers that had issues managing their content and then being able to tie that content to actually business processes which align to their business. And so they went in, looked at all the different vendors out there, and of course, they weren't that good as us. So they decided to pick us up as being a portfolio of their products. And the unique thing about um, uh, having this relationship with OpenText and being part of OpenText is that now we've got a full depth and breadth of new relationships with both SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft. And we had an existing relationship with Microsoft, but now we have a deeper relationship working with uh, Microsoft, Oracle, and SAP. And as you know, how many people here use SAP? Raise your hands. Wow, I would never raise my hand because I hate to say that I, I've used SAP. But SAP is a very, very complicated ERP system that I've seen. Um, and what what we are able to do with our tool is to be able to uh, understand the existing SAP transactions, be able to manipulate those transactions using our tool, and change the way that the SAP transactions work. And that's really, really powerful, especially if you don't want to write ABAP or you want to have to write Java coding. This is now a user-friendly interface to actually go and make changes to the process. We also do the same thing with Oracle. We can work with our e-business suites. We can actually work with their databases, all those different systems. We have connectors. We have a whole bunch of different applications where both of our applications coexist. And we're built on top of a Microsoft framework. So uh, all of our uh, infrastructure stuff is all built in .NET. And um, you can leverage SharePoint, all the different assets that you have in Microsoft, uh, you know, with our tools. Any questions? If I'm speaking too fast, let me know. I think I had too much coffee this morning. All right. I don't know why the slides didn't come out right, but let me just pop these all open. Don't look at these slides. Let me explain what they mean. So um, what we've noticed as we started analyzing our 1,400 different customers, we spent some time interviewing them and identifying what are their specific needs because our customers actually help drive the way that the products are being developed. So one of the things that the customer said is that there is an increased change um, uh, change in business just in general because the market changes so rapidly. You know, uh, I think I just read in the news that I, I should have waited to put gas in my car because the gas prices are going to be dropping 50 cents within the next two weeks, which is great, 50 cents per gallon. But things are changing, so people have to be adaptable to what's happening in the global world, and it impacts their business. Um, customers' expectations and social connections. So as you know, Facebook is a great, wonderful tool, but also could not be a good tool. And it's being able to align what's happening. How is communication happening within our company, internally and externally within our organizations, and really understand how we're going to meet the expectations and demands of what we're looking to do internally as a business. And then commoditization, um, innovations, shorter product lifecycle times. So as you know now, most typical projects that we've seen that aren't using BPM take about 14, about 14 months to actually build a system. And in 14 months, lots can change. And so they need to find a rapid way to actually go out and do innovation changes to their company, but not in a 14-month cycle, more in a you know, four to six cycle, four to six week cycle, so they can actually go and see processes change and their companies adapt to what's happening. When, you, when people buy a BPMS product, they look for specific business initiatives to actually go and drive uh, process improvement. And most of the times, those business initiatives ties both organizations, informations, and systems to figure out what they need to build and what the impact it is to their business. The challenge is, um, you know, companies that we work for in the past is that there's a whole bunch of these type of business initiatives and they're not aligned. And they're looking at different systems, they're looking at different resources, they're looking at you know, information and they're not being shared. They're almost running like individual silos. And what happens is it, it ends up, companies spend huge amounts of time and dollars just to do process improvement initiatives 
but since they're siloed, they're not seeing the benefit as a complete organization uh, in, in companies. Does anyone have this problem today? Are, are people doing process initiatives more in a departmental sense instead of a corporate strategy? Raise your hands. Yep. And that's pretty typical. I mean, most people, when they buy a BPMS product, they buy it for a specific project. Either it's HR onboarding, if it's expense management, they buy it for that solution. They're getting some good ROI, but since they're not reusing the same assets to build other applications, they're missing out on huge opportunity gains. So what we do uh, at Metastorm, what we do is we take all the different common components, which is your resources, the information and systems, and, and build it in a modeling platform so you can model and understand how your company operates as a whole by collecting this information and then mapping, mapping those elements to the individual process applications that your company runs. So now, since you have a commonality between all these different components, you have a library of assets that you can leverage as you're moving forward to think about new process applications that you want to build in your corporate process initiatives. Is there any questions with that? Does that make sense? It's a different approach, but I think this is a, what we find is kind of the secret sauce to really help companies understand how to align their process initiatives with, with their overall company. So what we really do is take, again, the common components. We find, uh, define the strategies using our uh, kind of a ProVision product, which is really a um, enterprise architecture business process analysis tool to let you understand your business, all your different assets, define the strategy, align it to your business goals. And then with our execution platform, give you the ability to now you know, run the process application and then measure the performance and understand how you can improve that process over time. All right, and since now you have visibility both from the planning perspective all the way down to the execution perspective, you then easily have your business people be able to identify what are the key business challenges that you're going, that you're, you're tackling today. Have a center of excellence group that will be innovators that says, hey, these are the challenges my executives wants to solve. This is exactly you know, the approach that we should take by building a center of excellence organization. We engage the end users that are going to be interacting with the system. And then, as they're using the system, using the process application, we're, good, we're, we're going to be able to see what's the real data, the, rea the realization of what's the value that you're getting from using the different types of tools. Do you have a question? So most of our customers today, when they're using our products or portions of our products, they see huge benefits in reducing you know, product defects. So Seagate's one of our one of my customers in the Bay Area. They're actually using our products to actually do to understand exactly how in their product innovation group to understand how the products are being used, leveraged today, find the areas when products are being returned, what are the problems with it, and then be able to you know resend the new new versions of the products to their customers. And by using a BPM product and an EA product, they're able to go and align their product lifecycle management to reduce the number of errors that they're having to face. Uh, Amerisource Bergen is, 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 is a um, pharmaceutical company, and they're using our products to actually do, to, to actually build almost 200 plus processes, model it, and understand exactly in their product lifecycle management how are the new drugs that they're developing impacting you know, their customer base today. And then also the, the Department of Justice has saved roughly about $31 million in operational costs just leveraging our tools uh, to find areas to innovate and also automate different components within their organization. All right, I think I went through my slides fairly fast. Um, let me just go over to, uh, to maybe the Theodore, do you mind doing the demo right now? All right.